Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, happy Martin Luther King Day. Shout out Dr. King, man. Words can't even describe uh, what you've done for me, for people that look like me, for this country, for the world. Um, words can't even describe, man. Uh, your legacy will forever live on. Shout out to you, Dr. King, man. Money making Monday. We got an 11-game card on Dr. King Day as well, man. And it's a all-day NBA action day. We got games starting here in a little bit, man. Um, so, hey, let's cook it up and try to smash it per usual. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, man, if you rock it with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And, of course... I have premium plays over at the site, man. We all know what happened yesterday. We really don't even got to address it. For those that know, you know, man. Um, you see the set, bro. Had to take his ass off the wall. He pissed me off yesterday. Um, hey, it's NBA season, though, man. We are now 110% locked in on the NBA. Of course, I'm still going to have a few NFL plays for y'all in the postseason, but the joy is gone. Sick of them boys, man. I'm sick of them, man. I'm tired of them, man. I'm tired of them, bro. But, hey, 11 game NBA card today, man. Let's cook it up and smash it per usual, man. Ah, we dropped our NBA play of the day yesterday as well with the Nuggets. It was just a frustrating day yesterday. Um, they had it, too. They had it. They had it. And then they didn't all of a sudden. Uh, we did go one and one officially in the NBA yesterday because we had the T-Wolves money line. Faded the Clippers' ass, and then what else happened? Overall, it was a solid day in the NBA as well. But uh, let's make today a money-making Monday. Let's make this week a money-making week. New week, new goals, new opportunities. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls. I really, really do. Let's smash it per usual. And without further ado, let's hop right to tonight's NBA action. All right, first game up, man. We got the Houston Rockets out on the road facing the Philadelphia 76ers. Sixers, the nice home favorites in this one, laying seven and a half at the crib. I've talked to you guys about the Sixers um, a couple of times this season. If you think the Sixers are going to win the game, lay the points. If you think they're going to lose outright, take the other team on the money line. This is one of those games where I think the Sixers win the game. So me personally, I'm going to lay the points here. Um, Houston, they've been terrible on the road all season. We all know that. Um... They're a night and day team at the crib in Houston is where they play their best basketball on the road. They've been terrible all season. Houston in Houston has looked good. Um, Joel Embiid is game time decision. I see DeAnthony Melton out. Mo Bamba game time decision. Covington out and Kenny Lofton Jr. out. And for Houston, Victor Oladipo is still out. Um, Sixers did win the lone meeting between these two teams earlier this season. Really won that long ago. It was 131-127 in Houston. Uh, where Houston has, you know, played their best basketball. I think we see the Sixers beat up on Houston at home in this one. Fifth straight road game for the Houston Rockets. It's not a great spot. Uh, fifth home game in their last six games for the Philadelphia 76ers. Seems like a Sixers smash spot for me. Uh, I, I do want to see what's up with the injury news before I officially make a bet in this one, but I'm on the Sixers regardless. It's just about the number. Next game up, we got the New Orleans Pelicans out on the road facing my favorite team, the Dallas Mavericks, man. We saw this game the other night. Um, the Pelicans, top guys didn't play. Luka didn't play. Um, Mavs were favored in that game, and Pelicans still came in there and got it done. Pelicans lead the season series 2-1. to uh, My Mavs won the first meeting 136-124, and the Pelicans have turned around and won back-to-back -back in this series. This will be the last time. These two teams face each other. This is going to be the fifth road game in a row for the New Orleans Pelicans. This is going to be the sixth straight home game in a row for the Dallas Mavericks, man. Um, Pelicans are slightly the better team right now, especially with Luka Doncic being out. But if they're going to give me points in my back pocket with my favorite team, the Mavs, at home, when they're comfortable at home, and the Pelicans, they're on the back end of a long road trip waiting to get home, it's a play on the spot for me. I'm taking the Mavs here at home, dog. Um, wouldn't be surprised if this game came all the way down to the wire and whoever had the ball last won. I think it's a 50-50 game. Even without Luka, I'm going to take the home, dog, plus the points in that one. 
Hopefully they don't let me down like my Cowboys, but, you know, we'll see. Next game up, we got the Orlando Magic out on the road facing the New York Knicks. Knicks laying six and a half here in this one. This is an interesting game. The Magic haven't quite been that same team we've become accustomed to. Uh, they've now lost three straight. They're kind of cooling down a bit. Their injury report is still paused for concern. Wagner's been out. Wendell Carter Jr.'s game time decision. Gary Harris is out. Brunson is game time decision here for the New York Knicks. The Magic won the lone meeting between these two teams thus far this season. Wasn't that long ago. It was on the 29th of December. Final score, 117-109. I'm expecting Brunson to play in this one. And if he plays, I'm taking the Knicks at home, at the crib, in a bounce-back spot. Uh, or not a bounce-back spot, but a revenge spot. Um, I have liked what I've seen from the Knicks here recently. They've been on a roll since the Ananubi trade. Only loss was here in Dallas to my Mavs. I was at that game. Um, the other thing about this is we saw the Knicks play at home in the Garden on Christmas Day, beat the Bucks, I believe. We saw them play at home on New Year's Day. They looked really good in that game. They played well at home in these holiday spots, um, in these standalone big games in the Garden. I kind of see tonight being another one of those spots. Orlando, I understand they've been one of our favorite money-making teams, but... I don't like the spot for them today, just flat out. don't like the spot for them. Um, I think they'll be just fine when they start to get back healthy, but right now, banged up, I'm not betting them, especially not in this spot. This line is 7.5 for a reason, in my opinion. Um, Knicks, it's their really like their, one of their first few home games back after the trade since they've been playing well, so I can see this building being on fire. Um, it's the Knicks for me here. I think they beat up on Orlando, in all honesty. Next game up. Least favorite game on the card. Nine times out of ten, I'm not betting this game. Um, it's the Wizards land six and a half on the Pistons. I really don't have much for y'all here. The Pistons are awful. We've The Wizards have blown them out earlier this year, 126-107. If the Wizards come in here and play a good brand of basketball, I could see them covering this number. So I lean towards Washington land the six and a half. I'm not betting that game, though. Next game up, we got the San Antonio Spurs out on the road facing the Atlanta Hawks. Hawks length seven and a half. We see Hawks as a sizable home favorite. We automatically don't even think twice about it. We go to the other side. The Atlanta Hawks are the gift that keeps on giving, and we're probably going to fade these boys for the rest of the season. It just is what it is. As you see on your screen, they are the worst ATS team in the NBA, 9-29 and 29 against the number. At home, it's not like it gets any better. Terrible against the number at home. Let me pull it up. Atlanta at home, 3-14 and 14 against the number this season. The books continue to price them like they're a good team, like they're a decent team, and they are not. I hate betting San Antonio, but it's a pick between two evils in this game, and I'd much rather be getting points in my back pocket with San Antonio than laying points with the Atlanta Hawks. And as you see on your screen, the Spurs, they're... Not bad. They're not terrible against the number. 18 and 20, damn near a 50-50 team. That's better than I have even given them credit for. You would think San Antonio has just been a straight fade, kind of like Phoenix and Atlanta, but they haven't been. You can pick your spots and make money betting San Antonio, and I think tonight is one of those nights, or today is one of those days, not laying seven and a half with the worst ATS team in the NBA, the worst Home ATS team in the NBA as well. 3-14 and 14 against the number at the crib. Length 7.5. You asking for it. The gift that keeps on giving is the Atlanta Hawks. I'm taking the San Antonio Spurs plus the 7.5. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Next game up, we got the Golden State Warriors out on the road facing the Memphis Grizzlies. I believe my graphics are wrong in this one. Yeah, my graphics are wrong in this one, fellas. Sorry. The line is 7.5 Golden State. The line is 7.5 Golden State. Sorry. I don't know what happened with this graphic. Hey, I'm taking the Grizzlies plus the points at home, though. It's not one of my favorite games today, but the reason I, I'm going to take the Grizzlies here, I think the Warriors win the game, but I think the Grizzlies show up at home. Um, what do we know about these two teams? The last couple seasons, they both have been money at home and terrible on the road, and I think that's kind of what we're looking at here. Uh, I'd just rather be getting points in my back pocket with Memphis in Memphis who hasn't been playing terrible re recently. They haven't. Um, they've actually been playing pretty decently. I think better than people may give them credit for. Their injury report is a mile long. It is ugly. Uh, Bain is out. 
Jaron Jackson Jr.'s game time decision. Marcus Smart is out. I understand. It's it's not the sexiest bet on the board, but I do believe it's the right play, man. I can't lay this amount of points with Golden State on the road, bro. I, I just can't do it, won't do it. Um, come on, Memphis. Come in here and compete. I lean in their direction. I'm not sure if I'm rushing to the window to bet this game. Um, but, like again, Memphis has historically, or at least the last couple seasons, played really good basketball at home in Memphis. Golden State has struggled on the road for the most part. Golden State probably wins this game, but laying seven and a half, I can't do it, not with how they've been playing recently. Next game up, we got the Cleveland Cavs at the crib, laying three and a half on the Chicago Bulls. On your Chicago Bulls. Um, da -da -da. Injury report-wise, the Bulls injury report is pretty long. Craig is out. Patrick Williams game time decision. Dusumo game time decision. Terry game time decision. And Phillips is out. For the Cavs, Jerome is out, Garland's out, Struess's game time decision. Um, Bulls playing decently right now. They've won uh, four of their last five, beat up on Charlotte twice, went and um, at the crib, beat Houston. They did lose to Golden State at the crib. We actually had Golden State in that one, and then they went on the road and beat San Antonio. So they haven't been playing the greatest competition, Charlotte, and then Houston at home. We know they suck on the road. We talked about them earlier, San Antonio. So they've been playing the bottom tier teams in the NBA. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, they've won four straight. They haven't played the best competition either. Washington in back-to-back -back games, San Antonio, Brooklyn, all at home. Here's the thing. Fifth straight home game for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I think they get their fifth straight win. We've already seen Cleveland beat up on Chicago once this season. Score was 109-95 in that game. Um, I think something similar is in order here. I don't know if they blow them out that bad. But I do think Cleveland wins the game. Stacks their fifth straight home win in their fifth straight home game. Um, yeah, I'm taking the better team, playing the better basketball, in my opinion, the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'll lay the points with them here in this one. Next game up, we got the Miami Heat out on the road facing the Brooklyn Nets. Nets home favorites laying two points at the crib in this one. I think this line is interesting. Um... I think we all would agree that the uh, Heat are the better team playing the better basketball right now. The Nets, those last few weeks have been terrible. Um, Heat have won three of their last four. Win at home over Houston. Win at home over Orlando. Win at home over Charlotte. Their injury report is pause for concern. Jaquez is out. Jimmy Butler, game time decision. Kevin Love, game time decision. Want to watch out for the injury news in this one. The Nets do lead the season series 2-1. to one. Um, They won the first meeting in Miami, 109-95. Miami won the second meeting in Miami, 122-115. And then the Nets won the last meeting in pretty comfortable fashion, 112-97 in Brooklyn. Um, these games were early, though. They all were in November, the no November 1st, November 16th, and November 25th. So that was when the Nets were low-key a different team. Um, here's the thing, though. The Heat coming off a pretty significant road trip, I mean, homestand. Brooklyn, fairly comfortable at home, their fourth straight home game. This should be a bounce-back spot at the crib for Brooklyn. Um, where have we made our money betting Brooklyn this season at home at the crib? So, yes, they have been free falling, but at home, I could see this as a nice bounce back and get right spot for them. Um, I don't like the injury news for Jaquez and Jimmy Butler. I want to see if Jimmy plays today. I doubt he plays in all honesty, though, and I think the Nets win this game, so... Bounce back, get right spot at the crib for Brooklyn. We've already seen them beat Miami twice this season. I think they do it for a third time. I'm taking Brooklyn, laying the two and a half here in that one. Next game up, we got the best team in basketball, the Boston Celtics, out on the road facing the Toronto Raptors. Celtics laying seven and a half points here in this one. I am taking the Raptors in this one. Raptors haven't been at home in quite some time. They're coming off a pretty significant road trip. The thing is, is I've kind of like what I've seen from Toronto, and I don't like betting Boston laying significant numbers on the road. Toronto has been competitive recently, um, and they're at home working with Triple Revenge. 
The Boston Celtics have kicked the crap out of them all season. 117-94, 108, 105, and 121, 18. Not kicked the crap out of them, but they've won all three meetings. Um, wouldn't be surprised if the Raptors stepped up and won this game. I really wouldn't. Yes, they were struggling on the road. We know the Raptors struggle on the road, though. That's not surprising. Um, lost to the Lakers, close game they covered. Uh, lost to the Los Angeles Clippers. I don't know if they covered in that game. Let me see. Did they cover in that Clippers game? They did. Line was 11 and a half. And then they did get their doors blown off by Utah. But they were on a significant road trip. That was like their sixth straight road game. Going to Utah, who is the best home ATS team in basketball. Wasn't surprised at all to see them get beat up. Back at home here, though, I see Toronto showing up, showing out, and having a really good day. I really do. Um... They haven't really been home since the trade, and I think they are have been a different team since then. And I think they do come in here and compete with Boston like we've seen them do in the last two meetings. Boston did win the meeting in Toronto, 108-105, but the Raptors competed. Um, Celtics did win the last one, won that long ago. It was on the 29th of December in Boston. Boston did win it, but they only won it by two. I think we're looking at something similar here in Toronto. I want the points in my back pocket with the home team, the Toronto Raptors, who historically has played its best basketball at home, at the crib, where they got an entire country behind them. I like the Raptors in this spot. Next game up, we got the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> I'm sorry, not the Raptors. We got the Indiana Pacers out on the road facing the Utah Jazz. Jazz laying seven and a half points at the crib. We just talked about the Jazz, man. Sorry, briefly. Um, they're the best home ATS team in basketball. These boys be hooping. These boys be hooping, man. Um, what are they? Let me give you the official number. Utah ATS at home is 15-4. and four. They've covered in 79% of their home games, bro. And we've been on them and damn near all of them. Uh, we established early in the season that the Utah Jazz were going to be a night and day team on the road, pretty much straight fade. At home, at the crib, a money printing machine. Thing is, this is not tonight. I think, I think now they've gotten to a point where they're just slightly overvalued, and I do see the Pacers competing in this basketball game. Um, we'll see. Not one of my favorite games tonight. I, I really don't like betting Indiana without Tyrese Halliburton. Um, but they have played decently without Tyrese Halliburton. Um, is today the flat spot without him? We won't know until game time. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was with how Utah has been hooping in Utah. But I just see this as a game where the line's a little inflated. I think Utah is the better team playing the better basketball, especially uh, with the Pacers being without Halliburton. Um, but these are two of the hottest teams in basketball. But... I think the Pacers do enough to at least keep it competitive. Jazz win at home, Pacers cover. That's what I think we're in here for. I think this game probably comes down to the wire. I'm going to say this is going to be like a three, four point win for the Jazz. Pacers sneak in the back door and get a cover. Um, that's what I think happens here. So small lean towards the Indiana Pacers. All right, last game up, man. We got the Oklahoma City Thunder Buddies, our favorite money-making team. They're dogs to the Los Angeles Lakers, man. Reason I believe the line looks like it looks is our guy, Shea Gillis Alexander. He is listed as game time decision, uh, questionable. So that's looming over this game. Of course, LeBron day to day James is um, listed as game time decision, probable though. And then Anthony day to day Dave is listed as game time decision as well. I'm expecting them to probably both play. I need to know what's up with Shea. I do. Shea's in. Of course, we're on the Thunder. If, when Shea's out and they give us the line with the Thunder, what it's going to be, I'm I'm on the Thunder. Regardless, I'm betting the Thunder here. Um, I just need to see what the number is. I want to know what's up with the Shea Gillies Alexander news. As soon as I find out, I'm going to tweet you guys out on Twitter. So make sure you're following me there and let you guys know what's going on. So Thunder Buddies for life. You guys already know that. The best ATS team in basketball, our favorite money-making team. This team prints money for us. Uh, what are they against the spread this season? Number one in the NBA, 26, 11, and 1. They've covered in 70% of their games this season. 70% of their games have the Oklahoma City Thunder Buddies covered. I'm on them tonight. I want Shea to play, though. I need Shea to play. 
Uh, even if he don't play, though, I'm going to take the Thunder at the new line. And I'll tweet out what I do here in this game, but it's uh, Thunder Buddies for me. Remember, the Lakers couldn't beat the Thunder on the night that LeBron became the Leeds' leading scorer. So now they're going to do it here. Like in the motivation spot, they couldn't do it in L.A. Now they expect me to expect me to think they're going to do it here. The Thunder, like I told you guys, they have gone from a middle of the pack team to one of the best teams in the NBA. I'm willing to argue right here, right now, my power rankings go Boston, Oklahoma City, Denver. Those are my top three teams in the NBA in that order. Boston, Oklahoma City, Denver. They're the second best team in the NBA, in my opinion. I love Shea Gillies Alexander, but this is a really good Thunder Buddies team. So that's why I'm not worried, even if he doesn't play. I still think the Thunder probably win this basketball game. But, of course, I want to see the number. And, of course, I do want Shea to play. Um, but it's Thunder Buddies for life here in our last and final game of the night. And that's going to conclude this episode of my NBA Jam Session. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, say, man, if you rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And, of course, I have premium plays over at the site, including... That NBA play of the day, man, I absolutely love that play today. We will bounce back on it today, man. You guys can hop on that. You're going to hop on something long-term, a three-day, seven-day, 30-day, however you want to do it, you can do it. And for my big betters out there, man, you guys can join my uh, Access Club. The information for that is in the description below. The guys that have been in the uh, Access Club, man, they are up tremendously, like huge. Um, it's kind of insane. Um, but it's been a great NBA season. We're just trying to keep the momentum rolling forward. If you think it's for you, the information is in the description below, man. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch this video. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs, man. Let's make some money tonight. Let's smash it per usual. See y'all soon. I'm out of here.